hey, that Lions jersey is your son. Well, speaking Easy. of the Lions, speaking oh. of the Lions, Finn, you did get a taste for it when you were called up mid 2017 tour in New Zealand. Um, how special was that experience? He was there for two and a half days. Let him have it. He still was there. He still got called up. <laughs> Go away. Wait, two and a half days is better than never open. Exactly. What? You, you what was that? No, I said two and a half days is better than nothing at all. Yeah. I think it was there for, well, what was it, 10 days or something? And pretty much as soon as we got into camp, they were like, yeah, you're only here for 10 days and you're flying back. So. It was kind of different, obviously. It was, it was obviously class to go, but you're only there like so for ten days just to fill in the mid midweek, you know. Um, I think it was only me and Alan Dell that actually got on just because of injuries, but without that we wouldn't have got on at all. Um, so I think yeah, I was pretty excited to get over there, but then once you got there, you realise oh, I'm just you know I'm here for ten days. I'm, I'm after the first game when we were like thirty four nil up or something, they still didn't put anyone on. Mm. But then you're kind of like oh. We're probably not even going to get a game. We're just here to train and kind of hold shields if we need to. Um, so that, that was very different. You know, Zeebs, you've done one already. Um, but that, that was different, getting called out to it. And I know there's a lot of <clears throat> media around that when the Welsh boys got called out and the two of us from Scotland got called over. Um, it was kind of like, you're just the guys who are close to the area, so that's why you're flying out. It's not because of anything else. So, um, and I was, it was good to do it, but... If, if if I could go on a, a full one, it would be be a lot better, I think. Where were we, Finn? Were we over in Oz at that time? Yeah, we played in Singapore, then Australia, and then. Oh Australia. yeah, and uh, yeah, you played in the Oz game, didn't you? Yeah. How good was that trip? Eh? Singapore, Australia, okay. and then you missed out on Fiji, didn't you? Yeah, that was that was the one game I wanted to play in because it was in Fiji. I've never been. Yeah. And I wanted to go play in Fiji, and I had to leave the day after the, the Australia game. That was e easily one of the best tours I've been on. We did yeah. Singapore and played Italy, didn't we? And then Australia beat Australia and then went over to Fiji and ended up losing against the Fijians. But oh, what a place, man. That was a, that was a good trip, that one. Yeah. Say so no. even your mini Lions tour, like what was, like even if you were only there for the 10 days, what was the crack like when you were there? You know, like did you get to go on any nights out or? Oh yeah, I think I went on about four. <laughs> Four and two and a half days. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think because we were obviously in the, the sort of the second squad that was the first night I got there, we had captains on the next day, then went into a game. And then after the game, they were having beers on the bus back up from, fuck, I don't know, Waikato, I think, back to Auckland. And then they said, if you want, you can go out, you're off tomorrow. So a few of us went out. Um and then the next day we trained and then it was a team dinner the next day and he'd obviously got on and named his squad for the for, for the first test and he was like, well, boys who aren't in the squad, you can sit here as a free bar if you want a drink here and do what you want. So we sat there and had a drink um, after that and then trained one day, then it was captain's one day, so we were off or something and then went out after the test and then went out after the, the last game that we had, so... It was kind of, I don't know, it was a weird situation because obviously you'll know better than me, Zeebs, but there was like a 23 that were for that were for the tests and a 23 that mm. was not for the tests. So you're kind of on your own schedule compared to the, the 23. Yeah, it's that different. The, the tour. The dirt trackers. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <clears throat> what, right. was your what was your best, like, out of those four nights now, what was the best night out that you had with the guys? Um, Can't remember any of it. <laughs> the all blurred into one. No, we, we had one night, we went to some... Irish pub that was in the harbour um, and we ended up bumping in, I bumped into a couple of Scottish girls that we were air hostesses with with Emirates and they were like friends of friends which was random but that was quite a good laugh a good night out um, and then the second one Debo's giggling there I'm mad <laughs> the second one my mates my mates actually came over for it for it for the 10 days so my mates came over and then I had a night out met up with them which was a good laugh and then the last one was good because like so my mates were there as well so we had a, a big big night then and that was when um, oh I met Callie that night Wills yeah because he was playing at um, a Hurricanes at the time so I met him Cam Gibbons and I, I didn't, didn't know him but I knew he was coming to Glasgow and he had a mullet at this point so I grabbed his mullet for a laugh and his mate like grabbed me thinking I was being serious <laughs> and Callie was like nah nah he's all good he's all good you know, they're not both them out, obviously, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course you would. Of course you would.
Well, Finn, for the upcoming tour, everyone is calling for you to be starting fly half. Um, have you allowed yourself to dare to dream? Uh, you know, it's just going to be in the back of um, most boys playing in this tournament, back, back of their heads. But, you know, you could have a great tournament and then you never know what's going to happen the next couple of months. So there's no point in getting too carried away with it. Um, you know, it's, it's nice to have that sort of, I'll just say that, folk talking you up a bit of confidence and a pat in the back almost. But, you know, I don't know what, we've still got three tests to go then the whole season with Rasson. So, you know, I think we might, we might have about another 15 games, if not more, to play. So, um, I still have a lot, a lot to go on before the actual tour, even if you get an initial squad like we saw last year, if some boys had to pull out with injury or, or other things outside of rugby. So, um, getting in the, in the squad, initial squad is one thing, but it's still a long way away yet. So, we'll well, see. Fair enough. Definitely, though, know, you're the, you know, and I know, you're the number one starting 10 going on that tour. You don't have to say it. You don't have to say it. I'll say it for you. But yeah, it's mad how you go from two and a half days on one tour <laughs> to four years later producing all the form and all the tries, assists, everything. Been the most people would say, like with your name, people would have attached consistency to your name and said, "Oh, he's not consistent," you know, when he's when you were coming up. But in the last four years since that last tour, it's not even a question, man. Number one fly half in the world. So yeah, baby. Two and a half days to number one, baby. <laughs> Just chuck the long boat to Zeebs, let him go, that's it. <laughs> well, that's the interesting thing. People are talking I about... I the tour. If I go, I need him to be outside me, obviously. So. Exa- yes, correct. We come as a package. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, have you seen Ice Guardians? <laughs> I'll, I'll look after you, mate. <laughs> they, they talk about, you know, like putting these guys in that aren't even playing national rugby. Do you reckon they watch my game against Zebra? 100%. Surely they were. <laughs> I think you should send a highlights, uh, highlights rule from that training session against the Central. <laughs> <laughs> Feel off the ball hits. <laughs> i tell you what, like we've, we've, forgot, we've forgot about this bit as well. Would you reckon the boys from um, Saris will be sending their clips in from Cornish Pirates at the weekend? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <amazing>. Oh, <laughs> How good is it watching them lose in the championship? Oh, oh man, tough old place so to go. Good. Obviously, like Duncan Taylor and Sean Maitland are here, and they got in on Sunday, same as me. And I was like, "Oh, what happened to you boys at the weekend?" And they were just like, "Don't even talk to them about it." <laughs> <laughs> they were so dark. They were, they were saying that they won three lineouts out of ten, and only one of them was like clean ball. And out of nine scrums, they lost eight of them or something. Mad. Who's running? Who's running the line at Swino? <laughs> Big Swino. Have you heard of nicknames? <laughs> no. So Swin Diesel. He threw an off out the back one day in training. They start calling him Swin Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Sam tonight. There's another one, I think. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that that is so funny. Eh? Like, hey, listen, we've all been down in Cornish Pirates and lost. I remember going down there with Mosley and losing back. Very in tough place to go. Tough place to go. 